the left seems to think that the Supreme Court exists for this purpose and that it exists to impose their very worst ideas onto the public, onto those recalcitrant members of the public, those people we call citizens who refuse blindly to go along with their entitled extremism. They want the court to empower abortion activists and woke performance artists, campus and corporate elites and social media outrage addicts to tell everyone how to live without votes, without accountability, and without debate. Taking debatable matters and placing them beyond debate seems to be their formula. They don't want democracy. They don't want representative government. They want docility. And Judge Amy Coney Barrett is not going to give it to them. She's not going to politicize the Supreme Court. She's going to help depoliticize a court that the left has spent decades turning into an extra-constitutional Sanhedrin of philosopher kings. She's going to turn back policy decisions and political debates back to the people and their elected accountable representatives where they properly belong. Judge Barrett understands that under our Constitution, policy is supposed to be determined by the priorities of the people, not editorial boards or Twitter trolls or safety school faculty senates. That is why the left is so furious about this nomination. For all the pious pablum you hear on MSNBC, and for all the pious pablum you'll hear on MSNBC and those other networks tonight, understand they aren't angry because this process isn't fair. They're angry because it is. Not because they think Amy Coney Barrett is going to be a partisan justice, but because they know she will not be. They're not afraid Judge Barrett will legislate from the bench, but that she will force Democrats and Republicans to legislate from legislatures, as the Constitution itself requires. Judge Barrett threatens their power, not because she has a hidden agenda or hidden powers, but because they do, and she won't enact those powers or exercise them by judicial fiat. And that is exactly why we need to have Amy Coney Barrett on the Supreme Court of the United States. Not to avenge Bork, Thomas, Estrada, Alito, or Kavanaugh, but rather to restore the institutional integrity of the Supreme Court and to the Senate and all the public institutions that leftist judicial abuse has twisted and desecrated for two generations. We need to confirm Amy Coney Barrett not to give political power to conservatives or Republicans, but to finally give it back to the American people from whom it was stolen so many years ago. The left has taken the political low road on the judiciary. For decades, Amy Coney Barrett will take the constitutional high road for decades to come, every day earning in more ways than one her new title of justice. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.